Hey everybody, Steve from the Pinball Room. Um, got a lot more fun again today. We're gonna work on the right ramp. We've been 3D printing that out. I think we got a good one. We're gonna move the scoop a little bit to make room for a Newton ball. That was great feedback by one of the uh, one of the guys following our channel here. Thank you so much for that idea. I think it's gonna work out great. But yeah, it's a long ramp. We gotta make room. We've got a special connect diverter that's gonna be in the back. All right, so first things first, let's get to the ramp. So we'll do a little time lapse. You'll see going through and modeling it out, making a couple of changes around and then a time lapse of the 3D print, uh, really cool. We got this one down just a couple of iterations, so cue the time lapse. All right, there you go. So this is what we ended up with. Um, the second, the first iteration that I did with this, I just didn't have, I didn't have enough of a curve here, and so the ramp when I put it in up here, it was still just coming too just straight out, um, and it was not lining up with the flippers and how that needed to be. So we had to change that angle a little bit. Second time's a charm. It's lining up great. We got the height good. Still doing this approach where we kind of created in sections and snap them together, and then we'll put together with a little bit of glue. I think that's. It's working really well for going through and doing these long pieces. They just, they work great. So we're gonna keep doing that. The other cool thing we got is, I've always wanted to do diverters. This one I wanted to be a connect diverter, not a, not a software control diverter, right? I mean, there's advantages for both and there's times and places for both, right? Sometimes, like our horseshoe here, remember this is gonna have a diverter. This piece of metal is gonna slide down, reveal another shot and then slide back up. So sometimes that will divert the ball. But I also think it's a lot of fun. I love just like marble machines and like those giant ball bearing sculptures. There's some, there were some out here in Utah for a long time. I forget the name of the artist. I'll have to look it up. But uh, he would have these huge sculptures like in the malls and stuff I saw when I was like in college. I fell in love with them where just the wire forms, right? With this perpetual machine, a, a, a screw um, elevator bringing the balls back up and they just kind of go down through gravity and they've got gates and they're doing loop-de-loops. And I'm sure you guys have seen these things, right? They're amazing. I love them. Might have to try to make one of those one of these days here for the channel. For now, it's all pinball. But so a basic diverter, they just will, you know, turn the ball from one path to another. And so the whole idea, we've got the simple little post here. Okay. And this post, well, let me fast forward. Hold on one second. Okay, snug, not too tight. Now we've got this. And then this little guy slides down on top. And then look, we've got a diverter that's gonna push the ball from path to path. All right, that post is a little tall, kind of ugly. We'll have to like cut it down for the final version, but there you go. So now we've got this diverter, okay? So again, the idea is, let's show the whole ramp. So this is our ramp, okay? The ball comes up here, goes down the ramp and then meets up with the diverter and is gonna go one of two directions on this, all right? So my thought is this will be behind the back box, but the ball will travel up and if it goes here, it'll come right back down in wire form, okay? That'll bring it down to your right flipper, okay? Can't quite see the right flipper on the camera, can you? All right, or it'll be, again, behind the back box or it'll get diverted the other direction. It'll come down 
it'll go behind. Remember, this is gonna be our upper play field. It's gonna come down behind all that. We'll have another hole in the back box over here. The ball will come out and drop down into this orbit, okay? And then come down here to the slings. That's the idea. So, and it's just gonna be this, just this manual diverter. So every time the ball hits, it's just gonna alternate. You have to, it's gonna be behind the back box. You won't really be able to see which way the diverter is set up. So they won't always, the ball is gonna come back immediately or you'll have to wait a second for it. I'm excited to give that, a, give that a shot with the flippers running and see how well that works. I have gone through already and gone through and tested this as far as you know how it works with the ball coming down. Okay. So it works. Seems like it's working pretty good. All right. So anyway, let's give that a shot. Let's put it all together. go. This one's a little bit lower than this one, so we can have a little bit of slope. So the ball will come in here and easily be able to come down, not if we ever get stuck. Gravity, right? So, we've got the post in. Let's assemble. Ta-da! All right. It fits, it works. Look at this. Magnificence. Ball comes up, goes behind to the diverter. Boop. 
comes back out or comes all the way over here. All right, now what we still need to figure out is back here we need a metal ball guide here for this lane. Take it all back off and then we'll do the ball guide. back in here instead of another piece of metal. The final one, I think we're gonna do a piece of metal, but these, these brackets of mine are kind of thick. It's gonna get in the way. So I'm just gonna put two posts with a rubber between that for right now to close it off while we're doing prototyping, okay? Mental note, that will be another metal guide right there. But for now, post. It's coming together. Getting a pretty full upper play field up here, upper third. All right, let's get the ramp all back on and go down and do some play testing. <laughs> 